Welcome back to Oni Nimoto, where we are picking up the V4R race build. Here we have Joel. He's already got the bike completely stripped down to put on the even better Acropovic, Acra, whatever you want to call it, exhaust. Okay, so the tank is off. Why is that, Joel? What do we got going on here? The tank is off uh, for a couple of reasons. We got to change out the bottom plate underneath the fuel tank. This, it's kind of a shame because it's a nice carbon piece that comes on the bike stock, but yeah. that gets changed out to facilitate the heat shielding for the new exhaust system. Okay. Uh, also, I'm gonna take off the side covers off of the cylinder head. This cover mm -hmm. and then the cover on the other side gotcha. uh, just allows a little bit more uh, fresh air to circulate around the, the engine. That's your insulation blanket keeping the engine hot. Oh, it's, you know, it's for winterizing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna take that off. Another thing to keep your bike cooler is do not put radiator screens on. Radiator screens down on that bottom shelf on top of that white box. We're gonna do a test and put this screen in front of my face and see the air restriction. And it's a part in the wind noise but this would be a good test. Oh wow, that blocks a lot of wind. That's kind of crazy. Exhaust is on. We're doing the tune right now, so hopefully we'll get this thing fired up and we'll hear for the first time this full exhaust on the V4R. I would say it sounds pretty good. What about you? It's yeah? good. Pretty gnarly? It's good, yeah. <laughs> Even with the baffles in, it sounded real nice. On Animoto, Joel here, putting exhaust on. Stay tuned for the next episode.